Welcome, we're going to be talking about the photo stitch uh, category today. Um, this actually is a shot, one that I did. This is my son when we were skiing in Thunder Bay together. Um, you've already met him in one of the previous tutorials. This was maybe like a couple years ago. Um, so basically what you're going to be doing is potentially with a tripod, it's easier if you use a tripod, you're going to take a series of photos that are going to go like very fast, like rapid fire on the, um, on the camera and go choo 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 choo. And you, then you're going to stitch those pictures together in Photoshop. Okay. Uh, then, so uh, some other examples. This is a uh, student example there, just with her little brother there, just doing some scootering. Uh, some are, you'll see, when you're doing them where they're, where they're not touching each other, it actually is a lot simpler than when times when they overlap. All right, and then you've got ones like that, like so, like so. Um, this one was, uh, obviously, they were, this was not rapid fire. They just used a tripod and the guy just was in different positions. I let this one go because he actually put kind of a fair amount of effort. He brought the costume in. He really wanted to do this. And so that's okay. Sometimes people can do ones that are just like, they're just all standing there, which I don't know. If I, I, I try to ask you just to be a little clever if you can. Um, this one, it's a series of, of shots here, but... Um, of course, uh, the camera is blurry, and so if it's blurry, uh, please redo it. Um, it's, don't hand it in if it's, if it's not uh, in focus. Uh, this one was kind of neat, where he did do a rapid fire here, and then he's going in to actually kick himself. I thought that was uh, pretty clever. And then we've got some more examples of the, of the same thing here. Okay. Now this one is probably the simplest one that you're ever going to do. I'm going to ask you to do something maybe that's a little bit more involved than that. Um, when you, when, when I do my example, we're going to do an example just now. Um, I'm going to, I will refer back to this one and please don't do this because you will do this in five minutes. Okay. Whereas like something like that is a little bit more interesting, a little bit more, uh, uh, a little harder to do and you can see there's some spots there where he's overlapping which just gets a little bit more difficult speaking of difficult this one was very and i know that was it was um it's a little out of focus but i'll we'll certainly let it go because it just it was such an interesting shot this one i don't really even know what to look at so i would probably advise you to i don't know like i don't i just don't know what order they're in or what's going on here uh this one's fun I'm um, going to ask you to be a little bit more uh, clever than just running. But then this one, holy smokes, this one is pretty complicated. You could probably get away with maybe like skipping an in-between here and, then, and just a saving uh, because it is getting a little bit more complicated. And speaking of complicated, that one is like really super complicated. It's just two people coming together and high-fiving, which it was, it was a neat shot. It's just... It's a, almost a little too much. You just don't know what to look at. So just be careful with that. So let's do a little example. Not so a, um, not such a, an example. We're going to, I mean, sorry, uh, this is one from a couple of years ago where I just had a guy do a cartwheel outside. There's one shot, there's two, there's three. There, there. Now this one's actually pretty complicated because he's going to overlap quite a bit, but here, we're going to start with our base, okay? Then I'm going to go to this guy, and probably the easiest way is that I could just select the whole thing. However, the easiest way to do that is go Control A, and it selects everywhere. And then I'm going to go uh, Control C or Command C, whatever, if you're on the Mac or whatever. And then I'm going to go back to my base layer, and then I'm going to paste it in, all right? So now if we take a look at our layers palette here, let's just make this a little bit bigger. We can see that I've got one and two layers right there. So now let's go to here. I'm going to, oh, that's my one. And so I'm going to go to 36, Control A, Control C, and then paste. All right. Uh, let's go to 37, Control A, C, paste, Control V, um, 38, Control A. 
C, go to this guy, paste, control V, and then go to, uh, let's see, that's the one there, go to the last one, A, C, go back to this guy, and paste. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm just going to get you into the, um, the right, get you into the right uh, frame of mind here. We're going to start with the first one and we're going to go to the second one. And you can see it does move ever so slightly. But I think what I'm going to do first is we're just going to, all I'm going to do is just take the lasso tool, just the base lasso, just the regular lasso tool, and just go around this guy like so. Now, if I were to erase him, I don't want to erase him because that would just show what's underneath. What I want to do is turn my selection inside out select and inverse and now everything else is selected and then I just hit delete okay so you can kinda of see here's this now I've just kinda of got that part in and you can kinda of see I don't know if you can see in the video but you can see maybe a little bit of uh, color difference here um, it, it will happen and so what I'm gonna do now is just use my eraser tool go to the eraser tool here and I'm going to make that eraser tool bigger here. And let's just make it bigger with the square bracket tool. And it's going to fade that off so you can do that. And we're going to start fading this. Make my eraser tool smaller. And we're just going to blend the two in. Now let's zoom in a bit. Now this is where it starts to get a little tricky. And so it might just help us uh, we've got these two here. Let's. I want to delete. He. I want to delete uh, the background, but leave his leg. So maybe it's just going to e be easier if I just go to my opacity and make my opacity like 50% so I can see them all. So I know now that if I zoom in, and if I go like along here, like that with my lasso tool, right there holding down the shift key to get a little bit more. I just ran out a little bit of room on my with my mouse. There we go. And then I hit delete. If I, I'll just show you by doing that. I've got that selected now. So if I hit the delete key, there we go. Um, then now it's still a little rough here. Uh, we should just go in and maybe just do a better job now. But I know where I'm going to to, um, uh, to erase. And then also maybe just going in with the erase tool too. Uh, and you can uh, also just soften it up that way. Okay. Now of course we got to do under here. Uh, so now where you're going to run into trouble is with the shadows because the shadows you can see are overlapping so that's when it gets to be uh, really tricky so let's just go and i'm going to yeah i really uh chose a good one in order to uh to do as an example so then oops we're just gonna do there and i don't have to worry about that and I think that's my spot there. Okay, if I let's just verify here. If I go here, okay. Now if I hit delete, so you can see what I've done here. Now you're going to run into some trouble with the shadows, but I think that I'm not going to worry about it. And so actually, I do need to just do this then. Okay, and so you can kind of see that we are. That's what we're getting right now. Okay. I, I need to definitely do a better job of trimming that up. Um, I would get after you f for uh, for doing that the proper way, but just for the sake of the tutorial, and I would even do a better job than that. But just for the sake of the tutorial, tutorial, we're not going to worry about it. Um, let's go to the next one, and we've got some more shadows here, so we're just going to just. Okay, and then uh, turn my background, turn it inside out, and then hit delete. And then we just need to start trimming. Now, okay, so now this will be tricky because 
looks like we're going to be kicking the guy in the face. All right. So maybe that's where you might want to just have that leg maybe underneath his arm. Okay. So I'll let you Photoshop that and have that like underneath. Okay. So I would probably have have his leg go underneath. Now look at that. I see that my um, it didn't line up. There we go. Uh, so, oops, lasso tool. There we go. Uh, so we should just maybe have his arm go. And uh, that's a real hack job. So there, if he's in behind, then he's not kicking him in the face. Uh, that I, I'm embarrassed about that. I can't even stand it. Um, I have to fix that. Maybe I'll just hide that and do a better lasso tool around the hand here. That was embarrassing. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. All right. And then just hit. Uh, and then hit delete. Okay. And then when you, then we've got, then we have to deal with uh, all this business here. Decide what's going to go underneath and what's going to go on on top. Like so, we'll just say for now that this is going to go here and like that. Okay. A little bit more, and then we're just going to bring that to the top here. go and just hit delete and so we are starting to and so like maybe this hand needs to get trimmed up here a little bit and you know and uh, and, and so forth and so then you've got this oh actually you know what it's going pretty quick here let's just do this one uh, let's just go and turn it inside out All right, and then we know that, like in and around here, I just don't want to delete anything that I don't have to just right now. Okay, let's go to 50%. And I know that I have to go along here. Now again, I expect you to, um, Uh, to do a much better job than this. All right. So if I do that, what's it going to look like? Oh, I had lot. That's why I didn't. I didn't have the layer selected. Like something like that. Okay. And then we have the last one. We'll use, we won't use that one. We'll just use this one. Okay, so really that is how this is all coming together. But I would like you to fine tune this to make this all look like it's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, when we go back to our other examples, okay, now that you know what you're doing, okay, you can see how this one was just a heck of a lot of work. And why didn't that go? There we go. And that one was a heck of a lot of work. Okay, um, this one was very simple because there's nothing overlapping each other, and maybe just a little bit here, or um, yeah, that one. Uh, but you can see how this one. Oh my gosh, where like these got these four. But all you had to do was just kind of draw around loosely with the lasso tool here and. And, and then you're done, okay? So I please uh, do something to maybe uh, challenge yourself a little bit more, okay? Like this one was a fair amount of work, okay? Uh, so you can appreciate that now. Uh, okay, so uh, take care. Hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that that helped.